Hi booktube, it's the Scorpio Reader and today I'm doing a review on The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I received an ARC of this at ABA's Children's Institute and I was so excited to get a copy of it. The Merciful Crow was also one of the Indies introduced debuts which means it's one of the anticipated books that Indies are really buzzing about. So I get the expression or I know the expression don't judge a book by its cover and I understand at a surface level you buy books for the words but covers really do sell books. If a cover is sloppy or lacks dimension or doesn't have a cohesive theme, it can turn people away. And I must say that this has a really nice cover. It really embodies the theme of the book. So you have the main character, Fi, staring down the kingdom in her crow attire. And you've got flames blazing. And I must say, what a mood. But anyways, you came here for the, you know, the words. Fi is a chief in training and she's always followed the mantra, protect your own. This is particularly important because she belongs to the lowest caste, the crows. In this magical world, there's a caste system that's named after birds. So you've got the phoenix caste, the peacock caste, and the hawk caste, and some others. Each caste has an affinity towards a particular gift. The crow caste is the lowest one and they're the mercy killers and morticians because they are not affected by the plague. So when her family is called to collect royal dead, Fi's plan is for them to get the payday of a lifetime. Instead, she and her family are sucked in to help in the still alive crown prince and his bodyguard. The usurper queen wants them both dead and wants to make the crow's lives a more vivid nightmare. Fi makes a deal with the prince that she will help him get to safety in exchange for him protecting the crows once he's in power. But the road is treacherous and dangerous, and Fi has to use her cunning and trust the crown prince and his bodyguard to save even herself. Now sometimes fantasy can speak truths about the world in a way that realistic fiction can't, or the fantastical elements can reach people who make excuses for when it's in real time, and this is one of those books. I really enjoyed this debut book. I like the unique world that Margaret Owen built. The crows gain their power through teeth, and I thought that was a really cool part. The crows wear plague doctor attire and it gives this really cool image in your head of what they look like. Characters are important in this book and I like how Margaret crafted Fi into this no drama strong heroine who believes in right and wrong even if the world doesn't believe it too. So this book has themes of discrimination and privilege because the crows are the lowest caste but I feel like they have the most power. They aren't susceptible to the plague and they had the most fluid magic. One of my favorite quotes from the book is this. It wasn't that Fi wanted to burn the world down, no. She just wanted the world to know that she could. I thought that was a really fantastic quote. So that's it. The Merciful Crow is the first book in a series, and I think it would be a good one for book clubs. If you like Danielle Clayton's The Bells, V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic series, or Lee Bardigo's Grisha Verse series, I think you'll like this book. So thank you for watching my video. Subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, so thanks.